Hey, Fearless Gamers, James from Fearless Games here. So the uh, basic overview video was kind of long, but there really is a lot to cover, even in just the basics without delving into the history of the Innisphere, you know, in relation to the Innisphere and all their factions, the clans and all their factions, and things like that. Um, just a lot to kind of talk about and make you aware of, because Battletech, the miniature game, is a bit different than our other miniature games. Uh, for several key factors that I mentioned in the overview, and I'll touch upon here. This, Fearless Gamers, is the unboxing video for the Battletech introductory box set, of which these two models here are from. So, before I go into it, it's an Origins Award winner. Um, I believe they won that in 2008 for their rules for the game, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this introductory box set I'm going to pretty much go over the contents pretty quickly because there's a lot in there. And what's cool is the introductory box set offers you absolutely everything you need to start playing without having to buy anything else. Um, it's rare, really, to see a box set like that these days. Um, here I go with the elms again. The box set is all-inclusive, like I said, and I can think of a couple of other box sets that are similar to that. But what you get here, I think, is a very nice value, and it's absolutely everything you need. You literally do not need anything else except space to put the battle map down to play the introductory box set uh, game with the quick start rules and the, and the introductory rules. So let's actually open it up and take a look inside. So firstly, let's take the cover off, or the, the top off. And what we have here are 24 including these two guys, plastic mechs. They're single cast piece mechs, pretty much. At least I think they're single cast. All the mechs are fully assembled in here. There's no assembly for these guys. And they're attached to their base. <clears throat> uh, you can tell the introductory mechs apart from regular mechs by the shape of their base. They're usually thinner shaped bases and a little bit taller. Um, perfectly fine to, to use, in my opinion, in regular games. It's just you can definitely tell them apart from regular mechs. Uh, the, the detail on them is pretty good. Uh, the mechs may look a little weird, but they're meant to look that way with segmented leg like not segmented armor, but different armor plates on there, and the way the arms and stuff look. They're not meant to look very perfectly humanoid. So I think the detail, especially for being a single cast piece of plastic, is very nice. You also get two premium plastic mechs, one of which is in its box, one isn't. These are multi-part plastic kits. And I believe they're the only multi-part plastic kicks for Biotech kits, not kicks, but kits, uh, in, for Biotech in existence. Which is unfortunate for me because I'm a huge fan, uh, fan of plastic models. I can't speak whenever the camera's on. Uh, you also get two six-sided dice. This is all you need to, to roll. You don't need lots of dice. You just need two D6s. As far as books and rules and stuff go, you have Battletech Innersphere at a glance. This is kind of like the PDF you can download to give you the fluff of Battletech a bit and about the Innersphere. And it's a uh, full color little thing giving you stuff for house layout, information for the history of the Innersphere a bit, kind of in timeline fashion, a little bit of fiction to read in the beginning. You also get a little bit of fluff on the mech warrior, on the battle mechs, nuts, bolts, and tactics and um, on the mechs themselves. Nothing rules-wise really in here, pure fluff, and that's pretty cool. Because that'll really help you get a feel for it, and really help you determine if you're truly going to enjoy the feel of Battletech. Then you get a poster. Always Posters are always fun, with the major and minor states and everything. And it folds out to show you a full color map of the Innisphere. And you have the map of the Innisphere here as well, smaller. Just something cool to have. Uh, is that right side up? Yes, it is. Alright, moving on. We have Painting and Tactics Guide. This little pamphlet helps you paint up your, your mechs. You can see here, they give you uh, materials and tools you'll need for painting up your mechs. They give you a little bit of advice in painting them up as well. Advice is always welcome. And then they give you... Um, Painting the factions. So, House Davion, Federated Sons, iconic paint color. Uh, 
Apple Barrel English Ivy. If you have no idea what that is, Citadel Catachan Green. A lot of us probably know what that is. I think that's Vallejo model color olive green. So it gives you the colors in multiple different paint companies because they don't make their own paints. So if you have one of those paints, chances are you'll have the color you need right there. So it's a nice little guide showing you not just one company of paint but multiple. And the back is a little tactics guide for the different mechs and different weight classes and playing the game. So that's also pretty cool. And now we get down to the rules itself. The quick start rules. These will have you playing the game right away basically. You read through this small little pamphlet, very quick and easy read, and you'll start playing the game right away, rolling dice, having fun, playing this mission, using this map. As you can see, the hexes are there. Quick start rules. This is what gets you learning. And I like that because the best way to learn is by doing, really. You get the basics down, which you do by reading it, and then you just start doing it. And if you have any problems, you consult the quick start rules and then move on from there. This I like. This is um, a little pamphlet on how the core rule books work. And they talk to you about the different books for Biotech, and there's a lot of books out there. Um, and they go over the different advanced books like Tactical Operations, Strategic Operations, uh, Interstellar War, and A Time of War. And they tell you right here what type of gameplay you should expect from these different uh, books and what type of gameplay you may want to do. And then I'll recommend a book for you. So if you want to do um, Total Warfare, all you really need is... Um, the Total Warfare book, but you can also have the Tactical Operations and the Strategic Operations. The Tactical and Strategic are like more advanced rules, while with Total Warfare being your basic rule book. So this is basically the, the core rule book, but everything else on top of that, tech manuals and whatnot, are just additional books to help out with the core rule book. Uh, a bit D&D-like, with having books everywhere, but not all fully required. It all depends on what level of gameplay you're going for. If you're looking for a huge grandiose campaign, you may need the Interstellar Operations book. Stuff like that. The tactical book is pretty good to get though from what I hear. Introductory rule book. This is the next step you take after the quick start rules. You start learning the introductory rules in here and this will really help you for progressing to a full-on full-scale Battletech gameplay. That's pretty handy. All right. Now this is your data sheets for your Macs. For the quick start rules, this is what the data sheet will look like. It's just half a page, very easy to look at. Um, you can see your mech hit locations, and you roll to see where the mech is hit, and then it has the different locations, the arms, torso, the torso, the torso again, the other arm, two legs, and the head, and then your weapons. And... We have the same thing for a tank. Tank ones look like this, pretty much. But a full-on mech data sheet looks something like that. It's a full page of mech information. Like I said, it's there to really keep track of the mech, and you have not just your armor diagram, but internal structure diagram, your heat, your heat data, critical damage, a critical hit table, um, mech data, mech warrior data, and all that good stuff. This is for keeping track of your forces. Looks like a lot, but it's pretty easy to, to read and follow once you start learning the rules a bit. And um, basically, uh, this is what makes the game pretty fun because you get to keep track of the mech's damage. It's not just, oh, my mech got hit and it's destroyed. It's my mech got hit and it's still coming for you type of thing. Represents their hardiness. And being hardy and having that hardiness represented in the game are two different things. You can say this this unit is very hard to kill, very tough, but you know, if it's following certain rules, yeah, it may be kind of hard to kill, but then they get wiped out. With this, mechs are supposed to be hard to kill, and they are because of the way the rules keep track of their, their damage. And lastly, we have, in terms of um, rules and stuff, uh, a quick reference sheet double-sided we had a pretty heavy-duty card so this has all the tables for uh, attack modifiers critical hit tables and movement cost table and everything like that uh, 
And then you have the, the map packs. You have two maps, fold-out maps. And I'll take the box off. And this is the fold-out map for um, the introductory, the quick start rules, the uh, green training scenario. As you can see, some terrain is represented by the forest here. You see a light and heavy. And you got clear terrain. Um, these things are actually double-sided. So you have two of them. So we have, really have four different maps here. And that's pretty cool. But anyways, um, that's what comes in the introductory box set box. That's everything. Literally everything you need to play the game. Don't have to pick up a single thing unless you want to paint up your models. But that's it, Fearless Gamers. Um, a very cool box set. I'm a big fan of it. I think it's a great value. I think it retails for around 60 bucks. And um, that's the unboxing. So I hope you've enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And uh, if you have any requests for for reviewing certain Biotech stuff or any questions on Biotech or you know requesting a certain video for it or anything else, feel free to leave it in the comment section as well uh, of this video and any of our videos really. And until next time, take it easy.